All right, so my friends, welcome. We're playing some standard and uh, playing some decks in well in a big Japanese tournament. Uh, not a meme. I'm not not joking. Uh, but really, really cool looking deck here. Uh, so far, Lost Cavern Decks all making a big impact in the format. We see, obviously, it's a very, very big standard right now with the uh, the new rotation uh, schedule being three years instead of two years. But a lot of these new cards showing up, folks. And one of the big cards showing up right now is the Schooner. Subterranean Schooner is showing up everywhere. Second coming of Smuggler's Copter. I don't know if it's that good, but it is really, really good. Uh, cheap equipment that can a vehicle that can explore, well sized, easy to crew. And what we see here is uh, forget about black. We got Fred Espers, blue white, blue white kind of tokeny mid range. Uh, Warden of Inner Sky, Spyglass Siren, awesome card, obviously. And then the Schooner, Denik, Wedding Announcement. Another big new card here is Tishana's Tidebender. This card is very important against Cavernous Souls because you can still trigger uh, counter of a trigger on a track set. Which removes both the ability to draw cards as well as flying and lifelink, which is huge. So tie binder, a pretty important card in this new Cavern of Souls format. Wedding's great, Emperor's great, Virtue's great, lands are great. Got the Anchorage, and then of course some good sideboard cards here. It can be a control deck, can bring some counter spells. Kind of sweet. So uh deck looks nice, and uh let's give it a spin. Uh brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, chat. Coming out, mate. Krusty says... I think most people don't think to like YouTube videos as they don't think it has any ap appreciable impact, not because of the effort to do so. What are your thoughts? Actually, the YouTube algorithm freaking loves likes, so please like the video if you can or watching on YouTube. And let's go. What's up, Metal? What's up, Metal Mario? Uh, and let's go here. We've got Spiron, Tie Binder. That's pretty good. We got uh, probably turn one. Uh, it's right now, actually. Um, so we got to decide if we to play Odawar as a land or not. I think we... So otherwise we're playing thinking of paying off the attic our way. I think it's fine, actually. Let's do this. Key the value. Odoir in our hand. Get our map. Do our thing. Pirates. You better check the map, honey. <sighs> Courtyard Angel. This is a new one. A little uh, Giada. Happy we kept that uh, Odoir in our hand. I can't attack. That's just going to say go. You got me. Virtual Loyalty, Tide Binder. Uh, there are some angels in the format. I'm not going to lie. Resplendent Angel with the reprint. Here comes the, the GG. What do you got, friend? Any angels in the outfield or no? But a Ludark veteran resolves. <laughs> Wise maps, sorcery only. I'm going to say put your game designer hat on and think about it. Why? Wise maps, uh, sorcery only. A jerker game. That's a 4-4 four, four Seraph. I can kill that, too. That's kind of gas, actually. So I can just kill the Seraph with my Destroy Evil. Yeah, the problem is, like, they're going to get pretty nasty. And it's pretty fast. Oh, it's map. It's map, uh... I think here. Raw Beach. Right. Gotta kill this thing. Fortunately, like, we can't leave Tide Binder up, but... I think we're in trouble here, honestly. I think that um, our deck is kind of removal light. That may just keep playing big angel after big angel every turn. It's pretty scary. Chat's got it. Yeah, it's for combat. Um, think about how confusing combat would be if you had a if map, to map, map tokens were all like just ridiculous uh, combat tricks also. So, all right. So, uh, we have Odawara. Tidebinder is... Okay, I guess. Um, definitely playing off curve here. Trying to stinks a little bit, but 
She's gonna like set up for our virtue of loyalty endgame. We'll just like announcement this turn. Fealty plus tie binder next turn. Odawara, I guess, too. I'm just gonna say go. Yeah. Not thrilled. Uh, Odawara bounce is also kind of fine here, too. I've got a map. Uh, here come these guys. No blocks. Down to nine. Very threat dense deck our opponent's playing. Another angel. It's a 5 5. Jeez. Where have you been all my life, huh? We draw a counter spell, but now we're like in the in the garbage can of uh They just have a bunch of flyers, we just don't have no rubble spells. A little warring a 5 5 angel is a thing we can do. It takes our entire turn though. We uh Shit. Yeah, we're in trouble. Could jump block and take six. But then we're just in really bad shape also. So I don't really see a way out here, honestly. I'm being completely honest. Um, we virtue of loyalty and jump. Draw like Wandering Emperor, maybe. Exile, gain some life. Still don't think that's good enough. The problem is Odawaring is just so terribly mana inefficient. It just like time walks us for a turn, you know? Alright, whatever. So, we'll chump block. Maybe we draw, um... Alright, never mind, we're just dead. That was a pretty embarrassing game, folks. Uh, they were stuck on three lands the whole game and just absolutely destroyed us. So, not a great start. Uh, we're going to bring in, I would say, Sunfall for sure. Uh, get Lost also, probably. Which is ways to actually kill things, you know? I mean, just didn't draw any of that game. Uh, Tidebinders don't seem great against them. None of their abilities are particularly counterable or relevant. I want, uh, Sunfall. I want Get Lost. Invasion of Yo Gabba Gabba seems... Hmm. Our counter spells are good, obviously. Don't think Stroke's worth it, but... You know, let's try this. Do a little better here. A little better here. You can't just Tide Binder a permanent. You have to counter the actual ability from the permanent. So, like, you can't just Tide Binder an angel randomly. It has to make an ability. All right, on the play. Alright. I mean, we just draw land. This hand's better. Got the old Schooner. What's up, Dan? No Larsus? Yeah, Larsus is really good. Larsus is not seeing as much, as much play as I thought it would. Having actually played with it, it's been pretty insane. Schooner! What's up, Dan? They're named Cleric on Cavern of Souls. And play a Lunark Veteran. Uncounterable. So... We can counter the angels, we just can't counter the things. So we're gonna just double explore here, try to get find for time on the land. You better check the map, honey. So Kruvis. Attack. Explore. Bin the non-land. And explore again. We are explorers. Brick City over here. Waka waka. So double explore is the final land. Here's a voice of the blessed. So, uh, if there's a matchup where I wish we were playing black, uh, this is obviously it. Because, uh, we just can't kill things, so that's an issue. Find a land, thankfully, but I think we're just already in some big doo-doo, honestly. Say go. You like, forget this card was legal, but like, it's still there. Built a really cool life gain deck for 10 new brews a while back. It was super sweet. Did pretty well, honestly, too. Should I say go? Alright, so. We fire in this. I mean, untapped land but it would be great there. We, should, we didn't draw one, obviously, though. We fire in Schooner. It's not going to do much, obviously, into the 4 4. So. Just like attack and play wedding announcement. Just kind of try and go wide here. They are at 13, even though they're gaining life. So, say go. Let's 
aspiring overseer. A little crossover between angels and uh, and life gains. So they're going to pump these things two more times. Does double wedding work? Uh, define work. All right, so I have a flying vigilance voice of the blessed. Yeah, all right. So untap, we draw virtue of loyalty. I think we're just dead. Yeah, I mean, we just don't have a, a, a real good answer to these... Uh, these creatures of blight. Alright. Uh, Alright, I mean... We're pretty wide, but... Don't know if it matters. Again, just three lands. Just, just, just browning us. Yeah. Alright, so... They're gonna have an 8-8 and a 7-7. With Vigilance. Emperors are doing this turn because they just have freaking vigilance anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't know if I can draw a Sunfall and a land, so. Yeah, alright. That was a, uh, that was kind of a massacre. Cavern of Souls, make disappear. Yeah, alright, sure. So, um, that's, uh, was not pretty. It's definitely not pretty. This deck did go 8-1 and one in, a, in a huge tournament, so. Alright, let's try that one again, huh? That was uh, a pretty ugly one. And, uh, we can keep this hand. It's not great, but sure. Point of Mulligus, Mulligus 6. Remember, folks, you're seeing welcome to the stream. My name is Jim. Pro Magic player, full-time content creator. Watching on YouTube. Hit the like button. Support the channel. Appreciate it. Helps a ton. Thanks so much. Put it goes to five cards. So in other words, please God, don't lose this game. All right, double tap land, Esper. Here's a schooner, draw land, cool. We got Denix Sirens, make disappear. Next turn is Siren, crew, attack, make disappear. I think that's so good for us. Can't go for the throw to schooner. No throat. No throat on the boat. I've also got a map of Middle Earth. Coming in. I get a map. All right, we have a lot of maps. Uh, your turn. These are obviously great exchanges for us. Uh, they just, you know, killed two of our creatures, and we made, we got three maps out of a deal also. So... And Step Fealty. Like to draw some lands, honestly, and keep the lands flowing here, but... Also not super incentivized to want to, uh, to explore into open mana. Honestly, Ward's a great draw. I can Warden and, uh... Tap a bunch of stuff. Damn. Alright, so they're going to cast their own fealty. We're going to counter this, obviously. Because countering this also counters the uh, the virtue itself. And like we can't afford to lose our creature too, so this is fine. Counter this, and maybe then we'll uh, we'll explore, actually. Try to find a land. Playing Warden is also pretty good. We got to pump out of it as well. But... They're just like Esper mid-range, probably. Yeah, let's just do it. Alright, land, please. Ugh. Uh... Draw lands. Alright, I've been that. So there you go. Obviously, way to do that post-combat because we wanted them to tap out first, so... Chats is the cool thing about countering adventure. It's a two-for-one. It's not a two-for-one. It's a one-for-one that stops them from two-for-one-ing you, so... A little bit of a difference. Um, attack again. I 
Attack again. And uh, just gotta play some stuff, honestly. Play Spyglass Siren. I'm just gonna dump it all. Now they're playing supers, so. I also got uh, a lot of things tapped for my, uh, my Warden, which is kind of sweet, too. We can pump twice. They're playing Sunfall. They got me. You know, I don't think they're playing Virtue of Loyalty in their control deck, so. Pump it. Uh, we'll bottom that. We don't need land five. If we draw on five, it's fine, but... We're going to tap the, the, the things that I don't, I don't get exiled by Wandering Emperor. Ship that too. Alright, go over the throat. Great. And a Mastermind. Yeah, it's just like a mid-range Esper deck. There definitely are a number of uh, varieties of Esper in the format. There's Esper Legends, Esper Mid-Range, and Esper Control. All fairly different decks, honestly. Alright, so we draw Tidebinder. Uh, Tidebinder does a pretty good job against Wandering Emperor, if that's the one card they have left. I'm just gonna jam. See what happens. Nothing there. And then... I think we just say go. And hope they try to activate this. Then in response, I'll Emperor it. So uh, we both draw and they don't draw. Excellent. Love to see it, so... By removing the Mastermind in response, well, they will not draw two. They'll only draw one. It's pretty nice for us. And now we're in, like, really, like, really good shape. This is what you get for hurting my people. Draw Ganjo, we draw cards, they go. Uh, way ahead here, obviously. We've got Creature Land, bunch of maps, three creatures in play, Planeswalker in play. Here's a Rafine Scheming Seer. We draw Destroy Evil. Oh, All right, a little... Make it a little easy for us here, I think, but. Let's map. And find a spell. Leave that there. Yeah, sorry, cool. So, Bowling did Mulligan to five. We Mulligan also, I guess, but. So, Esper mid range. Um, what are we interested in here? Disdainful Stroke is. It's not great. Negate's pretty good, honestly. Um, say these wardens aren't great. Got the wardens. They're bringing like two negates. Counters uh, wedding announcement, wandering emperor, virtues. Don't want get lost. Don't want smite invasion. Welcome's interesting. Uh, it's definitely a interesting uh, way to kind of play a longer grind to your game. That being said, they probably have destroy evil to kill it. So. Not the most exciting. They're on the draw. I just got the number of gates in. We're on the draw. So, let's do this. Tie Binder is pretty cool against Rafine. And, uh, turn off all the abilities, make it a 1 4. Kind of cool. Obviously, if a Tie Binder is tied to a Tie Binder or whatever, so, like, if they kill it, they get it back, but. Alright, so, uh,. We got this. We're gonna keep. It's two creature lands. The Ganjo. Counterspell. Not great, but. Now I got a kill spell also, which is a lot better, so. Just gonna go waste into Anchorage to have a two drop up. Deep Cavern Bat. That's really good against us. We don't have much removal spell. I mean, many removal spells. Go with the Graphene, too. Pretty cool new card. A lot of new, a lot of new hitters from this set, honestly. Cannon says, I'm playing an, an aggro deck with a go big cyborg plan like Planeswalkers. When do I want to bring that in? When you want to go big. When you're playing a similar matchup and you want to either work around their sweepers or just beat their uh, their creature stuff. You're trying to strategically, strategically line up against their plan. You draw a wedding announcement. Now I think I just like just map and jam. Map it. I'm drawn a map on this cracker. Keep that. Cyber two. All right. So now we have uh, 
either Wedding Next Turn or Schooner plus Tapland. Yeah, our Fiends Bats is pretty good. It's funny that they, if they get the Bats too big, we can kill it with Destroy Evil, but... Alright, so Bats is now a 2-2. Two -two. It's going to land, so 1-1. One, one. Cool. Alright, we're going to kill our Fiend here, right? This is no choice, so... And then, do you want to attack and deal two? Would I rather them be at 16 and me be at, at 17? Or uh, at 18? Or the same totals? I think I want to lower the light totals, so. Most important way to, to, to figure out, like, your cyborg plans like and stuff is just, like, you need to think about what does the game look like when you win and when you lose? Like, what does the end of the game look like? What is the end game that you want to be, you know, what are the games you win look like? And then think about if your plan leans into that or not. Dub Schooner. All right, it's probably Wandering Emperor here, right? Um, double Schooner is honestly not awesome because we're locking in a crew right now. They're just wedding, honestly. Just wedding announcement and tap lands, there you go. They have an Emperor. I don't want to attack. I can't block either, Ben. Just kind of crappy, but... Let's see, yeah. All right. I guess Emperor minus is better than Emperor token plus. So sure, whatever. Just back. Also, we'll tap them out. It's like a resolve wedding announcement. That's great. That's awesome for us. All right, cool. So they just kill my two two flyer and tap out. Awesome. Burger King says I know this is a standard stream, but I've been thinking of it as a way to build mono green tron with beanstalk. I doubt that's worth it. No, you want your, you don't want to try and just draw cards in your tron deck. Your goal is to resolve a big thing as fast as possible, and beanstalk is the exact opposite of that. They have their own schooner. All right, I mean, I'm just gonna run the, run the jewels here. Just play it all. All right, Schooner. Schooner. Oh, shit. I fucking... I guess I can't say I got auto-tapped because I, like, just didn't play the land. Uh -huh, but... All right, yeah, I'm an idiot. That's fun. And then I probably compounded the mistake by actually playing the land. I probably should have just held it. That's fun. I guess I have these anchorages, but... All right, here's a mastermind. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so here comes a schooner. And now the issue is if I try and block with my schooner and they just have a uh, an emperor, it's a disaster for us. Yep. Yeah, we uh we might have mucked this game up pretty bad, honestly. Whatever. They would attack anyway, so like Cycle Rafine's Tower before blocks. All right. So, interesting time to do that. Make me feel very very happy about my blocks. So sure. And another Schooner. Boats everywhere. Untap. Draw land. So, we, um... I guess drawing card... Actually, I don't want to draw card of answer because they have the... Uh, so, yeah, we got to just attack with one of these. So I don't want to draw an announcement, and then they draw a card also. So just back with this. Explore. It's time to explore. Sure. Should, 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 should play land first, I guess. Sure, it's fine. A little sloppy. Little 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 small things there. I should have held the land, so if I hit a land, I can play the land they knew about. Not really like the the end of the world, but um, a siren, and then guess we just want to explore, right? Explore like here. Face-up Wandering Emperor is not exciting, but fine. Uh, flip the team. Bunch of good stuff. Got 
Got Anchorage here also. Honestly, Festivity plus Anchorage is pretty sweet too. Like, popping your creature lands is like actually a really big deal. You don't notice you can activate it. You're like, wow, that's a 3-4. That's, that's, that thing hits. Takanuma. And they're going to get back the Rafine. Sure. Hey, Rafine Schooner is pretty good. You just like crew a schooner, Rafine it. Nasty. All right. Uh, and the turn. They obviously know about the Emperor, so it's like, you know, not the craziest thing in the world, but uh, our Daxi are a freaking boss, right? We just like slam. Just like fire up uh, bolt schooners and the anchorage. Could leave back the emperor, maybe. Is that better than attacking? Yeah, I guess it's better than attacking the anchorage. So. Alright, so. Jam. Explore, explore. We are explorers. They're gonna crew. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Okay, draw land. Another schooner? Yo, bro. Might have been this. I think we have a little more interaction here, so. We do have, uh, we could exile the bat also, and then get our counter spell back too. So they're gonna log with both. So obviously, this is kind of weird, because our emperors face up, and obviously they can just counter it. Uh, and this kind of looks like they have a counter spell here. I guess if they, if they had a counter, though, it's gonna be negate, right? So if I gotta cast this, they negate it. It's kind of bad for us. Could just trade a schooner for a schooner, which isn't the worst either. Um, that being said, I'm also interested in emperoring the bat to get back the counter spell. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till their turn. I think. This block makes no sense unless their card hands is to gate or to stroke or some way to counter with stuff. <sighs> if I wait till their turn, they have to use more mana for that. They play Rafine, they attack. We Emperor, they counter it. It's also bad. I got double activate lands next turn, too. Oh, man, I'm sorry, folks. This is a hard spot. Um... Shit, let it go. Third six, they go. None of their attacks are great. We have freaking double anchorage also. We're attacking for a lot next turn. Player Fiend, sure. Cons to be standard legal? No. Legal and explorer and pioneer. Alright. Cast Emperor. They'll negate it. No, they won't. Alright, so. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I These are gonna be three fours. I think I want the token. We must protect the people. And untap. Draw Mirix. Just freaking Leroy, right? Like we just do a thing. Just make a token. Cruise schooner. Firebolt anchorage and attack for a million. That's what's up. I'm in. I'm just doing it. I'm just going all the way, folks. Look. No fear, no shame, no judgment. 
Just hit the damn button. Chat, save me, will you please? Help me out here. Our stuff's big, their stuff's small. You know, like, you figure it out. Siren. Uh, we can do better. Master blockers, you figure it out. I think they figured it out. Okay. They figured it out. There you go. All right. On the board. All right. On the draw, hands awkward, but we're going to keep. We got Schooner, two drop. We can Schooner to Virtue if we have to. Schooner into Wedding Announcement is pretty awkward. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but we draw land. Cool. Let's go land Schooner. Freaking hair in my mouth. Restoration of a Ganja. It's more black, white, mid rangey stuff. Draw Danik. So, we can explore here. We can just, like, play Danik, attack a schooner, explore, try and uh, do the thing. It's obviously much more mana efficient to play Wedding Announcement. Um, and if I draw a land, I can go Virtue and Danik, which is awesome. I was going to play, play Wedding Announcement. Yeah, it's just more mana efficient. It's like, if we draw a land, awesome. If we don't, I'm going to figure it out, you know? So, we can discard Swamp. Sure. So I'll probably block my Planeswalkers again, I guess. Sure. So I got the old mono white ramp here. Hold on to your butt. All right, untap. I mean, good news, bad news. We draw a land, it's tap land, but sure. Let's fire up the old schooner. Just get in and do our thing. To explore strange new worlds. Virtue is actually like a pretty important piece if we're like going to be playing a token war. Uh, I don't know if two virtues are necessary though, honestly. I'm going to pick some land drops. It's fine. Let's chip this. And uh, get it in. Play a tap land. Play announcement. Just say go. Ship it. Tokens for days. If we draw a land, there's a chance we just cast Virtue of Loyalty and not even bother with the token. Because Virtue is just so good, but... Cut down. Oh, why, 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 didn't they, why didn't they kill that before? They just killed that. I couldn't crew and attack. What are you doing? Alright, so weird play from our opponent. Uh, they just killed that on their turn. I couldn't have crewed and attacked. Odd. A little odd. Restoration again. Sure. Hmm. Which ten new brew deck is getting the makeover? I have to check. I actually forgot about that. Uh, I will check and get back to you. All right. So our schooner attack here is actually pretty good. Maybe emperor too. So what's a schooner? Schooner attack. See how they block. Uh, I can't go for the throw of the schooner, which is pretty big. So I feel comfortable emperoring here. Tilt. All right, no attacks. Just play Danik, leave up the uh, the virtue of loyalty. Is it? It is. You suck my battleship. Restoration targets. So if they discard a card, they will not get a card back. So please don't do that, opponent. They didn't. Good. Denik always messed something up. You got a shield right here, um, which is not honestly that good in a, in a board like this. 
This is about making a bunch of five fives, not about feel a little uh, little dink little dink and drop life gain here. So I think we're good to go. Let's draw land for my virtue, please. Land, untapped variety. Tilt. All right, that sucks. Uh, yeah, just gonna say go. Flip the wedding announcement. Play Emperor at some point. We could Siren and Explore, but then we can't play as Emperor, so just say go. All right, so basically a true mirror. Um, the problem is they have six lands and I have four. So they're going to resolve their virtue before I resolve mine. That's very, very bad for us. Um, I think we're in trouble. There's no fear, Shakespeare. No counter spells here, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, we really, really, really need to draw land. Like, really bad. No! I didn't specify. All right. Um, shit. It's funny because, like, part of the allure of playing straight blue-white is our match be better. Uh, so in tap land issues, though. We can't even, like, if we first strike this and attack. That's still pretty good. Let's do this. First strike this and attack. I just block here, right? Oh, shit. Anyway, I didn't realize how big the shoulder was. Holy crap. All right, no attack. Just take it up. All right, yeah, I mean, this game's getting out of control now because they landed their virtue first. This is a size game. All right. Now we draw land off. All right, so... Please no destroy evil, I guess. Yes! All right, we got it. No! They, they got it, too. Uh, grab your dice, folks. Did I bottom a virtue? I did, didn't I? I didn't All right, now they have two virtues. Uh... <laughs> right. Uh... Okay, so... Now we're at 11. We have an anchorage and a f spyglass siren. Uh, I mean, this thing will have flying really fast, which is kind of cool. Uh, I like, actually, this card's insane with the with the virtue. Just tap all your stuff and then untap it. So we like kill their emperor, make a token, pump this up, have emperor up, sure. Warden's pretty busted here, but it might just be too late. Um, Try not to miss me. I get scry too, holy shit. Uh, Tide Miner's pretty insane here, actually. Tide Miner can counter a Virtue Trigger. Uh, I think countering Virtue is more important than countering Shielder, so... This is now a huge flyer. It's also a pretty cool thing. Uh, make a token. Let your blade do the talking. Just say go. So they have shoulder. They also have the life loss from this thing too. Is a farmhand sure? Oh no! Tie binder is only creature, planeswalker, or artifact. What a weird templating. 
Uh, okay. I'm just gonna play a new Emperor, I think, to get more stuff in play. I don't care if they take, they take Denix, so. So I guess we'll just tie behind to their shoulder then. Man, this game is freaking gonna go forever. Grab a Snickers, folks. We're also, like, in the air for a lot of damage. No! We're in the air for some damage. <laughs> we really need that card, folks. All right, let's trigger this. We'll tie binder it. And then, I mean, like, our flyer can't even get in. Let them gain life back. What a freaking game. Uh, let's make a token, right? Just keep token, go. Oh, no, I should, I, I should act like I'm anchored if I screwed up. My bad. Lord Skitter, no. simple math, you know? They have two, we have one. We have more stuff, right? They have 5, 10, 14. I've got 5, 10. I only have, actually, I only have 15. That is a land, my friends. Um, Keep watch for intruders. So we'll activate the anchorage and just untap itself. I should not even need to do that, but it's cute. So Jeez. I've learned much during my travels. Was oh, our flyer not attack? Because they have a flying life linker. Just gain life right back, right? You're done. Oh, it untaps. I'm an idiot. You're right. You're right. I'm dumb. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. So if I've been talking with a flyer. Uh, and untapping. That might actually, might actually done it. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. All right, we're dead this game anyway, so. Uh, all right. Game two. Their deck's more token even our deck, which is bad for us. We bring in our Get Losts. It's also kill, it's also kill enchantments. Do I want Sunfall? I don't think so. Like, we have counter spells and stuff too, which seems great. Um, Destroy Evil's also pretty sweet. We would have gotten in for like a lot of damage over like three turns, so. Um, Tidebinder doesn't seem radio, honestly. Do I want like Negate? Negate seems pretty good too. Cut like a Denic. And. Honestly, Tidebinder seems kind of meh. Right? What are we countering with it? Like. I don't have Schooner. This guy's Emperor, I suppose. Let's kind of tie binder. Let's try this. Or 
101. Whoops. Not bad. Uh, we're going to keep. Birch is important. Have a counter spell. You can draw land here, but... Get to explore. Get a schooner. That works too, I guess. Schooner time! Deep cavern bat. The bat, man. The bat. Takes our virtue. We draw land naturally. We don't want to kill this. Bats look so good against us, right? Like, this is nasty. Uh, Alright, let's just crew and attack. Sure. I mean, they know our hand, obviously, but sure. Yeah, but lack of removal just, like, is pretty damning, honestly. Like, there's just, like, so many things you gotta kill in this format. It's like, can't kill any of them. Alright, you can kill some of them, but... Wow, what a totally amazing, excellent discovery. Sure. Um... I think we're just flying in here, right? Schooner time? Oh, I. Yeah. Not ideal, but sure. Dan says, Bath, reason why I didn't play this deck. Yeah, like. Definitely uh, a lot of must-kills in this format. A lot of creatures you just got to kill on sight. You know, Adeline, Rafine, Bat. I guess Troy will those kill some of them, but... Gross! Uh, Alright. That was a good draw. Alright, so... Just like attack, make a token. I guess we'll explore also, right? The kill response, like whatever, it's fine. It's a freaking 2-2. Two -two. Sure. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Play land. Say go. I mean, we have Anchorage, Counterspell, Virtue. Really have another removal spell? You really saying that's what you're saying right now? Oh, man, these games haven't been very fun. Um... Fine. Fine. You know what? Fine. You got it. Restoration's fine also. Alright, so we're gonna have Virtue. Could destroy all the Restoration. Doesn't feel great, but... I figured I have my Virtue in there too. I was casting Virtue next turn, so like, maybe we just jam this. Alright. Untap to land. Just jamming. We're sin. I don't have a counter spell in my hand, but they know about it too, so whatever. Not exactly a lot of uh stuff in play like last game, you know? Takanuma, Shieldridge, sure. We draw Mirix. Um, 
I mean, I get to Anchorage. So that's pretty cool, right? I get to Anchorage and then untap the Anchorage. You get the Murex. They were just dead, though. You get the counter as Virtue, right? Because they have... Actually, there wasn't much for Virtue, honestly. Virtue's not that good. Nothing? No casting Virtue, no... Alright, sure. Let's start by mapping on this thing and see if we get a, a counter or not. We do. We don't want the Warden, though. not a bad spot, right? We have, like, good clock, uh, counterspell, they can't do much with shielder as far as just stare at it, they can make a token, but whatever. We're, like, kind of okay here. They sure a lot of one-for-ones. Yeah, I wish counter us. So, like, I think we're alright. Damn! So if I were to Emperor the Bat right now, I couldn't, uh, couldn't cast Virtue, but I can do a thing. Let's, uh, start here. Land. Not bad. Time for five. Play land. We're just gonna Emperor right now because they obviously want to attack into my land, so minus here. I'm not You're just you are and not uh yeah, sure. Kinda of pulling out of it, you know. To me one for once. Come on. Alright, good draw, good draw. I have a virtuous battle here. So, we get a big attack. It's got Vigilance. I guess everything's out on taps anyway, but... Strike fast and strike hard. We play Virtue for five. Play Schooner, crew it, activate this thing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry we're one short on that, actually. Alright, so... Crew this... Segio pumps, untaps. I think the counter spell is like one of the key elements to this deck. Um, but like, Cavern Souls exists, you know, and so on, so maybe not. I don't know, honestly. The fact that there's like beings with with go for the throats is very weird. Like he's, I think these go for the throats like shouldn't shouldn't even be in their deck. Like the only good target we have for single target removals are schooners, which go for the throat can't kill. You know, but like all right, so uh, unsap down to ten. Is they're dead in the air? They were dead in the air. I hadn't gotten that far yet. Sure. All right. Game three. All in marbles. They just uh, they just keep playing go for the throats. So kind of inclined. I don't want this tide bender anymore at all. Shit. Alright, 
Game three. It's good. I'm in. I like it. A little, little siren action. The flyers are good, so... Oh yeah, Virtue, I guess tap lands are relevant. We, can, we, we map in Virtue. Need to decide when this needs to stay up also. Alright, buckle up. Emperor A. Map it. I've also got a map of Middle Earth. We get to Virtue, leave make disappear. If they attack, will I Virtue to block and take down the counterspell? We'll see. I'd say no. Alright. Go on places. And step play their own virtue, put on the counter spell. Alright. Chill! Opponent, chill. Um <sighs> Lala Lance. Lala Lance, folks. Alright, we're attacking for two. Now we're like kinda losing the race, honestly, but. Oh my god. Can't sack a piece of our board to do it. So we'll just like let them do this on tap play virtue. I feel like on paper, this match should be so easy. They should have always one for one removal spells, but we just cannot put anything together. And we have the counter spells and they don't too, but we could just cannot put it together. Um, now our version is nothing. Our Emperor's awkward. They just play this thing. Yeah, we're just super dead. We should have no board. We like Virtue. Hoping out of a land, I guess, is the best play. Just like, hope they have no land, can't play their Virtue. I get to untap, have Siren. No, they have a land, obviously. All right, we're dead. Yeah, they have an emperor too. Oh my god, All right, whatever. Pack it into the emperor. Alright, sure. We get our counter spell back, I guess. We're at six. Yeah, we're just, I mean, just, just dead, I suppose, right? We draw another virtue. Great. Um, Land, siren, emperor. Oh, I gotta go. Alright, alright, we're done. Alright. So, I don't know. Not super impressive as deck, honestly. Uh, just like, just can't kill anything. Feels like it'd be good against the control decks, but just like bad against creature decks, which is obviously the problem we're having here, because we can't do anything. So, um, that's a deck, alright? Love, folks. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, and you're all good. Peace.